Okay, can you give a few examples of the Hegelian dialectic after you have um, already, you know, given the basics of it? Give a few examples so that people can further understand. Okay, cool. Uh, one example is the creation of the Federal Reserve, right? Which is basically a, a central bank, which was designed on purpose for a purpose to basically control the money and, 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 and the credit system, right? In essence, you know, to keep the, you know, the people in debt. So, um, this is like in the, in the early 1910s. Um, how they did it was they had a, a state senator at the time named Nelson Aldridge, right? And they had hatched up a, a plan to, you know, to draft the Federal Reserve. And they met, uh, these, these unseen forces met on an island, uh, Jekyll Island, uh, off the coast of Georgia. And uh, they were instructed, you know, like to, you know, convene in secret, you know, arrive like, you know, separately, stuff like that, unless like the media get wind of them, you know, stuff like that. And so um, they hashed up the plan, which was led chiefly by Paul Warburg, the Warburg family. Uh, you know, another, you know, banking family, you know, controlling finance, right? So they hashed up the plan and Nelson Aldridge at the time, you know, being the senator, they put him in, in, in charge of like the monetary commission. So they did like they did like these studies and stuff like that. So once they had, you know, got all that straight and they hatched up, you know, uh, the Aldridge bill. And so they were trying to pass this Aldridge bill, uh, you know, in Congress. You know how it go, they, you know, these votes, whatever, stuff like that, right? The Senate and the House. So um, at first they were trying to get him to understand that they, you know, should give it another name lest the people suspect something. So anyway, you know, he insisted on it, you know, being an Aldrich bill named after him. And so the bill failed. So they had to go back to the drawing board. They had to go back to the drawing board and, you know, obviously he, he realized what, what, what they were telling him, what he was, you know, being told. Um, so they figured if they put the word federal on it, then it would make it look federal like the federal government, you know, owns and controls and stuff like that. And so they, you know, after having gone back to the drawing board, they came out again. Now this, this around the time where there was a presidential election also, and uh, it was, uh, I think it was uh, William Taft was president, he's a Republican. And so Taft was on to people like Nelson Aldridge and stuff like that. So he, you know, if he got to be president, then, then it wouldn't go happen. So they had to enter somebody into the race. Uh, during this time, it was uh, uh, Roosevelt, and uh, Woodrow Wilson. So both, both of those were pretty much, uh, you know, in their pocket because they, they, they were being financed by the, by the bankers, right, who were trying to push the, you know, this Federal Reserve and stuff like that. Well, anyway, um, what they did was this. Since, since the people were already on to Nelson Aldrich, um, they got Woodrow Wilson, you know, who pretty much became their man. And so they both were, um, you know, uh, let's say, uh, railing on uh, Nelson Aldridge, right? So, so, the, so it make it look like that they were against him, right? Here's the roots. Here's the roots. So, um, once they were able to do that, uh, then they entered the same bill again. This time as the Federal Reserve Act, right? So mm -hmm. uh, that is how it got to be passed. And so they put Nelson Aldridge on the other side and made Nelson Aldrich uh, appear to be opposing the Federal Reserve Act, right? Because they, 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 they wouldn't suspect or understand that the Aldrich bill and the Federal Reserve Act was the same thing. And so Nelson Aldrich went to, you know, he was speaking out against the bill. So having failed the first time, then why would they side with him in, you know, the second time? And so this time, that is how they were able to pull the passing of the Federal Reserve Act uh, a few days before Christmas on 1913 and Woodrow Wilson had become the president and so when he had become the president then he kept his end of the deal because the finances who financed him to become president was the same people who was behind the, the orchestration of the Federal Reserve Act and that's how that got to be uh, and it was a clever strategy you know uh, and able to you know to pull off what they uh, wanted to do and to this day to this day over a hundred years later to this day this is why the conditions are the way they are with the, with the, with the, uh, you know, the credit system, you know, uh, being in control of the uh, printing of money, 
things like that. And, and this is part of the crisis that we're facing today. So it's been going on for over 100 years. And they use the Hegelian dialectic brilliantly to deceive the masses of the people, you know, beginning with Congress and the voting and the passing of that Federal Reserve Act. Now the people are being held hostage in terms of uh, finance, right? The money manipulators.